been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. So, school today. It was okay. I may have gotten in a little fight, but I made some new friends. Dakota and Vincent. They're pretty intense, but I think it's probably a good change of pace. Vincent did kind of jump out a window on his first day, though. I don't want you to worry about me or anything, but I also did defuse a bomb. Those two took down this LeFrog guy at the bank, and I tried to help the best I could. I don't think I'm cut out for so much action, so let's hope the next assignment is a mystery. Anyway, uh, it looks like Tide's taking us back to the base, so I've got to go for now. Love you, and don't worry about me. I'll try to do what you always say, and just roll with it. heroes left off. After defeating the evil bully, Jimmy Jackson, the team very subtly <laughs> left Centurion High School to stop a bank robbery. I'm going to go in through the floor. Oh, I'm going to go in through the window. Oh. When they entered the bank, they met the dastardly <laughs> villain, Lefrog. And I kicked him in the, the face. stopped him oh. and saved and those the inside the bank. <laughs> While leaving the bank, tied. The hero assigned to watch over the team pulled up on his dope motorcycle and brought the team back to the base, bringing you down and mentioning that Miss G had something she needed to say. And moving down into the base with these with these neon blue lights going up around you as you descend into this fucking awesome hero base, that is where we pick up with today's session. Um, so, so moving Woo! down, the three of you with Tide, um, the floor kind of, this, this elevator comes down to meet the floor and, and become level, and you, you see this, this larger room with, um, computers on the left and right and a larger monitor in the center, and two doors to the left and right on the walls behind you. Um, and moving forward, uh, Tide will say, um, all right, well, um, uh, I believe Miss G has left a message for you. Uh, I am going to retire Ms. G? to my quarters. She's still here? No, 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 she's not here. Why? She, but she, no, but she's left a message. Well, uh, she's Where very did she go? busy. Oh, I understand. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you will you have some get of... to see her in Dakota, are you a big Miss G fan? Yeah, do you, you could you say that. Kind of connection? <laughs> <laughs> and you notice uh, as uh, <laughs> as um, Dakota rolls up his leg, he's got a Miss G tattoo on the back of his calf. <laughs> oh, that's wow. <laughs> um, if she, if she left a message, if this is, if, I hope this isn't live for your sake right now. <laughs> so Tide God, just also, goes that is and really walks bad. out the left, the left door, and <laughs> it just says um, Miss G. <laughs> I thought it was just her forward. fucking face. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> just a tattoo of her face. Um, no. That the larger screen in the center of this this room uh, kicks on, and the bright light lights up this this darker room, and you see the face of Miss G <laughs> up on the screen, nice and big, smiling face. And Miss G. And she's got something to say. So take it away, Miss G. Hey, Miss Tide, G. play my play my music. Play my teaching music. Tide, Tide, play our music, play your music. Teaching moment. <clears throat> hey team, great job defusing the situation with Lay Frog. Really proud of how far you guys have come in such a short time. You are all doing amazing, and that's why we've decided to send you on your first real mission. A scientist named Dr. Jennifer Lutz has been kidnapped. Uh, on the screen, um, you see the picture of uh, a scientist, a woman uh, with blonde hair, green eyes, and, and some more rounded features. Uh, you can see it's a full body picture. She stands about 5'7", uh, and wears, wears a white lab coat. Um, just pops up on the screen next to her face. What, did she, did she fall into a trap or something? 
This is a recording. We're not sure where she is yet, but once we do, we'll make sure to get you her location and send you out to bring her to safety. I think this will be a great teaching moment. I have total faith in you, team, and wish you luck. Oh, just one more thing. She kind of like looks down at, at, at a clipboard. Um, you see her smile is a little less. Maybe try and find a more subtle way out of school next time. We don't want anyone getting suspicious. Maybe you could find some excuse to get you out of class when you have to go to a club or something. Something fun after school. But Ms. The principal did just like you told me. And I... Was able to cover for you. Again, still a recording this time. But you do have <laughs> makeup homework in your rooms waiting to be done. Make sure you get that done. Anyway, Tide will take you wherever you need to go as soon as we have her location. Good luck and don't forget to have fun. Hey. <laughs> I thought we were pretty subtle about it. I mean, I I, I told him I had to pee before I jumped out. Don't of the window, interrupt you know? Miss G when she's talking again. Hey, you did it three times, pal. What are you talking about? <laughs> she also only... specified it was a recording, and you did it again. It was kind of weird. You kept doing it. You were responding to her like she was actually gonna like say something, and she did. It's like she saw it coming. Wait I a second. Miss G. Is this is that a second tattoo of Miss G right there on your ankle? Do you have a learning oh moment? Do you have a learning moment tramp stamp right there? Thanks for reminding me. I needed to tie my shoes back up to cover that one. And that's when oh you see God. the tramp stamp. <laughs> I see the tramp stamp. He goes down to tie his Hexpert themed shoes. He's a light up Hexpert sketchers. No, he's got the laced up training oh, those boots are cool. for. Those are neat. Okay, uh, you guys can do pretty much whatever you want. Uh, you can explore through the base. They, you know, you can go to your rooms. Um, there's a training facility here at the, uh, at the base, you know, there's entertainment things, full kitchen, um, go look around, do whatever. Why don't we do All a little bit of sparring before bed? Wait, is it nighttime? I'm in. <clears throat> yeah, I'm also gonna I was, be I was there. A, I was about to say myself, we should totally fight each other right now. Right now, yeah. right here. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. Oh, right I would now. love to! And I go over right, and I kick yeah. him! <laughs> <laughs> you actually- Oh, shit! Oh, that no, looked like it really hurt, actually. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> kick him. Roll it. Sure. <laughs> okay, uh, I won't use advantages. That feels mean. <laughs> Wait, you know what? No. Not yet. Okay. Wait, yeah. A 10 to 23. Wait, is it plus 10 as well, or is it... No, it's plus... plus it's his... Plus so his your... his save is 15 plus 3, so 18. You rolled a 10, which means you take two degrees of, of failure, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So basically, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dakota kicks the absolute shit out of you. You ready, William? Yeah, I'm gonna put my card up just like you told me. <laughs> I bet you've improved since last time. This is this is where I this is how I real die. Okay, this is it. Are you sure? Time to <laughs> yep, time to unleash my ghost powers. Forever. <laughs> you're standing. You're I'm standing on the ground. There. There's a dent in my fucking shin. Ah! <laughs> oh, that looks really, really painful. Okay, okay, Dakota, listen, you show me some moves. I think I'm ready. You close your eyes for a second, and then you feel the wind of a, a gust of wind behind you as he's in the air. <laughs> His leg coming towards your head, past your guard. I'm gonna do I it. Didn't know that, I didn't know the human body could do that. <laughs> <laughs> the slow, just a slow motion scene. You see Dakota's foot just barreling towards your face, and you just, for a moment, you feel the, the air around you. You see this foot moving towards you. There is nothing you can do. Your face. I'm not even going to turn intangible, dude. I'm Listen, he taught me well, man. I got my guard up. Listen, do you just let him hit you? Things are looking just, up for William. I think I can take this. I hope that gonna... we go to sleep after this. Otherwise, my friends are going to die, and it's going to be because of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dakota, what you get to hit? <clears throat> I'll warn you, my parry is minus one. Actually, it's minus two. Effect DC for attack, so 18. You I got an 18? 18. Yep. Okay. So okay. That, the DC yeah. will be 15. That hits, hits, that hits my, that hits hits my the eight. the shit out of William. All right, DC's okay. 15. DC's 15. All right, here I go. What do you think this is, boxing? You're just guarding the front side of your oh face. Oh, my God. You have to wait, do wait, wait, wait. Sides. Okay, I actually got a 19 plus one for the, for the resisting <laughs> okay. it. Oh, hey, okay. so you resisted it? Awesome. <laughs> while while oh, I'm screaming shit. in the ground. Just like you well, showed me. 
<laughs> how do you how do you resist it? Um, I I like to think that I actually like. I, I managed to like take the hit and like kind of like redirect it a little bit so he sort of glances off me. I like to think this is something Dakota has taught me how to do. This is not something that okay. I, I can usually right, right, right. do. Woo! Alright, that was great. Okay, That's good training, good training well everyone. Good training. Let's well do it, you know, maybe ne still. maybe next week we can do it again. <laughs> Bye. I'd like to go for a cheap shot on Dakota from behind. <laughs> Wait, that's it? <laughs> Okay. I can't be surprised. I <laughs> I'm dodged. just like looking down, like sweating while I'm wanna, walking away. <laughs> you want to go for a cheap shot? Go for it. <laughs> yeah. It's, he can't. I, well, I have uncanny dots, so I can't be vulnerable, but. You, you grab my arm and you snap it. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I, just, I, I just quickly grab his, his wrist. I'm like, hey, careful. You could scratch my seventh Miss G tattoo. <laughs> There's like one on your neck, on your like shoulder <laughs> slash neck. <laughs> are these real tattoos that are on your body? They are now. <laughs> oh my god. I go, I go over, I walk over to him and rub it to see if it's temporary or real. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna ask, are those real? Sorry, no, I, I, I try to, I'm gonna make an investigation check to see if these are real or temporary tattoos, okay? You go, you go to rub on the tattoo on his ankle as he's holding, um, Vincent's fist. You just kind of rub it. I didn't it notice these before, this it, is pretty weird. And it just kind of like, fades a little bit. Hey, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop! Oh, don't do it again! No, 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 no! <laughs> guard up, guard up, guard up. <sighs> I'm gonna get you one of these days, Dakota. Ah! Yeah, I, I bet oh. you will. You know, I actually believe that you're getting better at uh, absorbing the blows. Yeah? <laughs> Darren, my leg is mangled. Hey, um. I think so, do your bones, is that a superpower that your bones work different, or? <laughs> no. Because I don't think it looked like that before. <laughs> It'll be all right. Nothing don't we have, like, a nothing doctor a here? Sleep. Nothing a night of sleep will help. Oh, God. I limp off to my bedroom. <laughs> all right, tomorrow, same time. Yeah. Nice well. um, Sweet dreams. I, I, have a, I have a thing. Are you sure? Yeah. I mean, it's like, you know it's like 7 p.m., right? Like, I'm gonna do my homework. <laughs> what kind of homework is it? Um, you have math homework, history homework, language arts homework, and um, yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Dakota, I sense a lot of stress coming from that part of the base, so I'm gonna go see if everything's all right with Vincent. <laughs> all right, uh, I'm gonna go set up tetherball in the other room if you guys wanna come and play after... Whatever you're doing. <laughs> yeah, I'll, c I'll come around bedtime so I get a good night's sleep. <laughs> okay. You fucking knock the shit off me. <laughs> okay, um, so you're gonna go in through the door? Yeah. To the, uh, I'm to just the gonna, no, room. I'm just gonna walk in, yeah, like a normal person. Well, so, I mean, coming from this basic base room, um, there are two doors on the left and right of where the elevator is. Uh, and when you move in, both doors come into this same larger room with a, a kitchen on one side and like a living room on the other. And there's uh, like one hallway going off to the left and it's got your, your different quarters. And to the right would be the quarters of um, Tide. And, I see. And then, yeah, I'm um, going gonna, gonna to go ahead and, and knock on, um, I'm going to knock on Vincent's uh, door then. Okay, go for it. Knock, knock, knock. Hey, uh, Vincent, I heard you heavily breathing from across the entire base. I just oh, wanted to make sure that everything was okay. That's, yeah, that's a bad habit of mine. Um, oh, you know, it's just this history homework. Um, it's talking about Rome. I don't, the only the roaming I've ever done was like out in the wild. I don't, the Martian, who, what is a Martian? <laughs> it's like a, it's like a green, kind of like a green guy, an alien. Oh. Oh, God. I don't know how to do this. I, I, I've been here for two months, man. I don't know. Here, I got you. I'll, I, I'll, I'll take you through it. I want to. I want to give him. I want to give symbols. A little... <laughs> That's the English language, bud. No, I mean the numbers. <laughs> That's numbers. <laughs> no. Are you ready to put them together? Yeah. It's like very romantic. <laughs> Here. Can I see what I do? Yes. I, I, yeah, I put my hand over his. Here. Wow. What is Y equal right here? You see? 
happen. This is supposed to be so Why is this so sensual? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are gonna get shipped for real, you know that, right? So just be careful the waters that you swim in. Hey, listen, if they're pledging to our Patreon, they can ship us. That's a no, really bro. dangerous- that is a that's, dangerous precedent! Oh, you're right, that is actually him, pretty dangerous. Him specifically. <laughs> yeah, okay. Why- Y is equal to... X. I get it. I think I get it! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying not to say anything! That's like, just immediately weird! <laughs> Um, okay, so wait, can we just move away from this? Uh, I have something like tension specifically, <laughs> like really cool that I think I want to do. Over to um, over to Dakota. So happy where, to be showing you this whole new world. Uh, you move into this uh, into this training room, yep. which is at the end of this hallway mm -hmm. where your different rooms are. You go in, and there is uh, mats on the floor, um, uh, weights around, and and pretty much anything you really need for for training. Uh, what are you gonna do? So here's what I think would be really cool. Um, I wanna, if maybe, I wanna bring a pole up somewhere, you know, like a tetherball pole, whether that's like a button I press and it comes up from the floor, or like there's like Ooh, a little cool. uh, mm -hmm. uh, setup for it where you like put it in like, okay. a, like a hollowed out CVC pipe or whatever those things are, you know. It's, it's... So what, what's gonna happen is you're gonna walk into this room and move over to the right side of the wall. Uh, it's pretty much just white walls going up with uh, with blue mats on the ground and like a, a laminate wood floor. Uh, those fluorescent lights like you would have in a school gym. Uh, it essentially looks like a school gym, but it is just decked out with more mm -hmm. technology as you can see. Like like the uh, to the right side, there is a uh, a panel on the wall that seems to have some screen on it. And as you move over, you can you can move through different uh, activities. And if you want to do tetherball, you'd move over to tetherball, press that, and a portion of this gym floor would sink down and then come back up with a tetherball uh, okay. thing. So what I want to do, uh, since nobody's playing with me, I'm going to train by myself. I'm going to take the normal tetherball... Uh, that's like a soft volleyball or whatever they usually do. I'm gonna replace it with uh, like a 10 pound medicine ball. And then I'm gonna okay. tie the string or, or, or lengthen it so that it's uh, a bit farther away. So it has more, it has to, it basically has to travel uh, longer. And I'm gonna hold it. And then you're just gonna see Dakota uh, quickly drop his hand from the ball. And at the same time, the leg's gonna come up and, and, and sidekick it to make it spin around. And then he's going to use that uh, by kicking it back and forth uh, swinging around the pole and then at times he's going to duck under it to practice dodging and agility uh, He's gonna try a moment basically keeping this ball going back and forth and swinging around this pole uh, Using his kicks and uh, and whatnot. So uh, similar to the little um, <clears throat> Things that you box that are on a spring that when you punch it it goes uh, back and then comes back towards you Except I'm and doing this with tether ball yeah. and I'm doing it. It's basically like t That but like soccer version Okay. That's awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. So you, you're just, uh, you're just in this gym room, so kicking back a ten-pound medicine ball. Mm -hmm. Awesome. It's great. Yeah, Vincent, that one's the hypotenuse. Oh, I don't, I don't know what that a hippopotamus. No, I think I saw those. just not at I all. Saw I saw that in that. <laughs> that I saw that in one of those movies. Uh, the yeah. Keeper tell of you the what. Hippo. Tell you what. If you solve this problem right here. Maybe we'll be able to watch the hippo too. Big oh, mud. Big mud. Oh my god, I loved the first movie. Let's see here. X plus two times best three over four bad. is yeah, divided you got by three. The square root of two and a half. Oh my god. Wow, who wrote this problem? <laughs> it's, it's six. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I think I think I got it for real this time. At this point, you guys would hear um, Tide uh, from the other room banging a a pot with a spatula and just screaming, "Shout time!" Ding ding ding, ding 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 ding. Right before that, I, I rolled a twenty-seven to hit. I'd like to finish my training off with kicking the medicine ball off the string. And uh, I'd like to walk in the room as he as he does that <laughs> and uh, get hit in the face by it. <laughs> and the oh, ball explodes. Okay. Yeah, I I, okay. I, I want to um, knock and say, uh, 
Hey Dakota, um, dinner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as um, did I as you kick there? this ball with incredible force, uh, William walks into the room, and, and this medicine ball lands firmly on his chest, and woof. You definitely go flying back out of the room. You you, you go sent all the way into the center room again. Uh, all the way down oh, the hey, hallway. Oh, hey, welcome back. <laughs> oh. I got this. I got this for you. <laughs> Just some fucking, like, deflated ball. Sand's falling out. It's all quiet wow. in the training room, and you just hear... Thanks. Hello? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get dinner, Dakota. Dinner's, it's dinner's ready. <laughs> yeah, what's for dinner? What are we having? We're having hamburger helper. As Again? Tide stands there. You see Tide standing there with a with a pink apron with with small oh flowers God. on it. Oh, and oh, it's, oh, and it just oh, says world's oh, best mom oh, on it. I can Tide, help you with hamburgers. Be... We have sure. any rats he around here? The spatula over at you, I and just... some and some hamburger helper goes flying at your face. <laughs> Listen, I don't trust that mascot. He looks sinister. I think I'm gonna hunt for some rats instead and eat those. You don't like the little hand- wait, what? <laughs> Hold on, just say that- I'm sorry, Vincent, just say that one more time so that everyone like can make sure. Listen, you can't eat rats every night. You've got to eat- We can't have hamburger helper every night, either. <laughs> okay, we've had it three times a week. I have- a job as a superhero and a day job. I don't have time to cook for you every night. Well, I can I mean, well, we appreciate hamburger it helper. always. Hamburger helper. What what ham what flavor is it this time? Stroganoff. No, I wait. really just I just want to eat my regular. <laughs> You're about to toast. say strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, oh. <laughs> strawberry. <laughs> Listen, Tide. If, if you need if you need help, I know how to cook. I can help. I know oh, how to cook, if you'd too. like to cook, oh, by all means, sure. Show me to the kitchen. What ingredients do we have? Would you guys like to help? I think we should. I'm scared of Vincent in the kitchen. We can make a big rat pie. What do you mean? I'm reaching to Please. a mouse hole on the side of the wall. Do not make a rat pie. <laughs> Listen, there's only two things he uses in cooking, rats and fire. I don't think this is a good idea. It's all I learned how. When, you, when you're in the wild, you gotta learn to survive off of what you have. You gotta hamburger help yourself out there. So, That's true, uh, except without the hamburger. Ty What's this rat back burgers? over into the kitchen. Um, <laughs> Is Ty a good cook? Dakota. It's hamburger helper. It's kind of hard to screw it up. For him. <laughs> um, but no, not really. He, he, he's made some questionable dishes. That's funny. <laughs> so he, he takes you into the kitchen. Um, Dakota, I mean, if you'd like to cook, we've, we've got many ingredients. And he opens up the fridge, and there are just several, like, loose eggs. In there, <laughs> what the there's, fuck? There's a there's a bag of cheese. Um, there is a a large green Tupperware bowl filled with some kind of substance that is slightly moving. How long has that been in there, Tide? How long has what been in there? Oh hey, my Doritos are in here. You eat rats and you this put Doritos in the fridge. You truly are <laughs> <a> sick bastard. He <laughs> takes out the uh, it takes out the green Tupperware. This is actually uh. This should not be in here. I'm gonna take this to the incinerator. Is that an old meal or just like a villain? Well, I mean, it, kind I of see, both. I feel like I can make out eyes and a mouth in that. How does a it villain? Taste? I have to destroy it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll take care of that. Listen, if you want to whip up something better than my hamburger helper beef stroganoff, be my no, guest. We shouldn't, we shouldn't let it go to waste. I look inside the fridge, tied. There's only three eggs here, and there's four of us. Well, we I mean, shopping. I'll eat the hamburger helper. You can each have. I give Vincent an egg. Here you go, Vincent. I eat, I eat it. <laughs> <laughs> you I crack it open and just. Yeah, no, I eat it like a hard boy. I eat it like a hard boy. I look at the Dakota. You have I, eggs. I didn't know he was going to do that, but I, I thought there was a pretty good chance. You, I eat it like a hard boiled egg. Uh, yeah, I do, but I eat it like a hard-boiled egg anyways. Okay, you crack it open and slide the the gooey, like, 
egg into your mouth and eat it. And I just guess, like mom used to me. I don't. You know what? You just do it. I guess. You yep. Just, now there's an egg in your mouth. On second thought, can I eat that villain? Um, no. <laughs> if I open this, there will be a serious containment breach. I feel like if we opened it, it'll be very interesting. Some would say interesting, others might say fatal. What Depends does he do? on your perspective. Okay. All right. Your little history lesson. Sit down, kids. All right. This he here. He's holding fucking rotten food while speaking to us. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a history man. This is my guacamole. I made it a long time ago. <laughs> it was so bad that cursed energy filled inside of it, and now it has a mind of its own. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sit down. It's time for a history lesson. And he takes this over to the um, to the uh, entertainment area where there's a TV and a, and a big couch. And he stands in front of where the TV is. Why is it so and extra? He, you couldn't just tell me what it was. I sense, on... I sense, I sense death <laughs> coming from that thing. Well, Miss G always says, find teaching moments wherever you can. Oh, this no. here is the villain known as Fart Bow. <gasps> he was reduced to uh, jelly in. Why was in he a in our fridge? With the prime force. You've just kept him next to our eggs. <laughs> Well, I actually didn't know he was in there. I thought we sent him to the incinerator, but... We've been here for two months. Well, I go over to know. it. Is he, like, screaming? <laughs> Is he alive? You go over, you go over and, like, look inside the little yeah. green thing, and it just looks like goo, like, moving around with, like, some, like, little bubbles popping with, like, gas oh my moving God. out of it. And... And... <laughs> And you see as Tide, I'm terrified closer, of the implications of this. As you're looking closer, an eye just like moves towards the, the side of the Tupperware and looks right at you and starts like blinking many times. Well, you know what? If you're so busy all the time doing superhero work, why don't you let me take it to the incinerator? I can be your Heimberger uh, helper. Sure, if you want to, but be careful. Fart bow is a very tricky one. What can Jello do? Secrete a noxious gas that would send you into a coma for 15 years. <laughs> 50? That was in our fridge. That was in our fridge, just next to the leftovers. If I'm in a coma for 15 years, and I wake up, will be- Will I be as old as Miss G? Dakota, that is a very strange way to freaking ask me that the in fuck prison, out, man. But, <laughs> take this- but, take this bowl to yes. the- Just go, please. Okay, okay. I'll hey, be back! Uh, I let's use my not super mention speed, to I Miss disappear. G that that was in the fridge, huh? Right? Yeah, let's keep that between you and Tide. How did it get in there? Did you put it in there? Like, what's the deal there? How did how did that happen? I mean, you know, I thought you weren't you aren't even part of the Prime Force. How did you get your hands on Fartbo? I mean, I was in charge of transportation, and let's just say there may be a large. Did you buy groceries on your in way? A jail cell somewhere. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. That that tied. I saw a bite mark earlier on that. I don't want to talk about it. I will be in my quarters trying not to die. Don't blow up the place. And he goes and he just walks All into right. his into his room and you Thanks see him kind of like prisoner. double over and you hear like I, this is fucking gross, but you hear like distant like low past farting noises. Oh god, what the fuck? <laughs> Well, I guess we all have a villain inside us. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm down to make some hamburger helper. I mean, you know. It's already made. It's literally just been yeah. sitting in a pot there. It's I don't trust stuff. that hamburger helper anymore. You move over to this beef stroganoff hamburger helper. Something's you not right. You assess the situation. <laughs> getting, some, getting some whiffs. The aromas that enter your nose are, are not... Not unlike what you would normally expect from some hamburger helper, but but there's something different in this hamburger helper for sure. Uh, it smells a little uh, like dairy, like like a like an old <gasps> dairy, maybe like older milk. Uh, yeah, like lactose intolerant. It's just it's just spoiled milk. Yeah. <laughs> and, anyway. and the color is a little grayer than it should be, probably. Yeah, I'm just gonna make some toast. Sorry, you know, I just ate that entire egg, but like, I just, I want Tide to think I'm what some could, kind of what freak. Could that, what could that smell be? It smells like mystery and I gotta solve it and I eat a bite of the stroking off. So, you take, you take a bite of this. How big of a bite are you going for? I imagine you're going for a, 
you know, you want to get the flavor, so you get the noodles in with the beef and the... I want a little thing. bit of everything. Full commitment. Mm -hmm. Full send. Full commit. Full send. Uh, your investigative nature takes, you know, gets the better of you. Yeah. You I'm, I'm seeing it. double. I'm seeing double earlier from that, um... From that huge fucking blow from Dakota, so I overcompensate, <laughs> load load up my fork a little, you know. You take a you take a big bite and it tastes good. Hey, that's not a good idea. You you like the taste. You know that huh. smell of spoiled milk didn't mess it up for you at all. And you you know you go in and you eat some more. That tastes really good. You're eating a good bit of this. Hey, well, oh, uh, mm. it's, it's weird. I just can't stop. <laughs> Yeah, that is weird. You know, it looks kind of bad. Like, like Here, you shouldn't Vincent. be eating. It. You want some? Stare him in the eyes for a second, for like three seconds. I'm just ra I'm just have a fork. It's got some on it. Yeah, sure. Fuck it. <laughs> I take it. As you're, uh, as you're giving him this hamburger. We don't even have plates. We're just fucking feral right now. Eating them. Um, Dakota, where are you taking this? This. Uh, <laughs> Fart bow? Is the incinerator here? Um, I, I don't even think you didn't really ask where it was. You don't know. You have no idea where it is. And Ty did not oh. even tell you. Just find a nice corner to put it in. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to look for a place that looks like it might destroy it, like like a like okay. a shredder. <laughs> um, <laughs> roll. I don't know. He said shred jello. You're looking around. The the most you can probably think of is maybe the there's. Are close. Dakota? Sorry. <laughs> what what the fuck uh, just happened to him? <laughs> uh, the best you can really think of is like maybe it's somewhere on the surface. You know that at least like on the side of this abandoned building, uh, up up on the um, ground level floor, there is like a dumpster. Elevator. Is this the first All time right. you've killed someone? <laughs> Me? You're just incinerating a fucking guy. You're incinerating a Jello well, guy. Well, he's like, he's like not even a guy. He's just goo. He's like not just goo, just Jello. He b he blinked at me. He didn't blink at me. <laughs> yeah, um, on the way up in the elevator, I'm just gonna be like, how long have you been in for? My mouth starts to water. What do you okay. taste like? <laughs> <laughs> this would be too good. <laughs> Imagine if you die like this. I'm really hungry. Didn't get any beef stroking off before I left. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> the song, dude. As you're walking up, going over to this elevator, you take it up, but for some reason in the in the darker hours, these blue lights have turned to a a neon pink. And you're and you're moving up, and you uh you're holding this Tupperware. It's enticing. You want to know what's inside. No. You hear the sounds, but you but you want to see it. I pull out my portable spoon. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! My Swiss Army knife of silverware. You okay? You pull that out. Mm. Are, you gonna, are you gonna open up? There's no phone? cameras in the elevator. <laughs> God! He's gonna fucking eat fart bowl! I'm gonna try and eat him, dude. So you open it. We are like lower than your average intellect. I'm okay. pretty I'm not oh. very bright. Okay. Uh, you pull out He's this very spoon. hungry. You pull out this spoon and you see this it looks like jelly. You ate lunch, you man! It hasn't been like eat. two weeks. Oh my you god. Eat. You you open up this container. You don't even know how many calories I need to keep in my body at all times. How many calories is Fartbo? You open up this container. I'm gonna find out. You open up this green container. And and as you as you start to pull it open, do you just rip it off or do you like peek? I'm gonna look around as the elevator's going up and I'll pop it off and I'll put the spoon in and I'm gonna try to eat it. You open this up and and you you go in to take a bite. The odor that hits your nose is foul. You smell what's, what smells like 
a dead animal inside of another dead animal that was processed and, and reduced to slime and then eaten by another animal that also died. And then all of them farted all at once. It is just, <laughs> but you're it too is just, powerful for this to stop you. It is just a disgusting, <laughs> disgusting smell. Vegetables smell bad too, but I still eat them anyway, so might as well. I'm, I'm telling like there's there's no way you would throw it. Okay, if you take a bite. This is Dakota, not me. I liked it. I liked it like Brussels sprouts and literal toxic toxic sludge are on the same fucking level for this man. You take a bite of of At least it's not broccoli. broccoli. <laughs> okay, I eat the villain successfully. And Let's fucking you, go. You take one bite, okay? <laughs> and you instantly just Vomit on the elevator. I close the Tupperware. <laughs> you close the Tupperware. Okay. Um. So. Ah! Okay. <laughs> That's what it sounds. You um. You feel a little different, Dakota. <laughs> you feel a little strange. You haven't passed out. You know. You've you've stayed pretty strong, but you know you're. You're feeling a little weird. Your head's a little light. You feel lighter on your feet. Um, the lights around you are kind of like, almost like lagging when you look at them. Drugs. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. It's just, it's like you are on drugs right now. <laughs> Can we turn Fartbo into drugs and get rich? <laughs> oh my fucking God. All right, so you are gonna take, uh, you're gonna be fatigued until you, until you sleep. For the night. Okay, um, so I slowed down to normal human yeah, speed. You're, you're feeling slow. You're feeling sluggish. Your brain is is moving a little slower as well. Is this what life before the serum was like? I usually don't like uh, food going to waste, but ooh, that was awful. That was so bad. <laughs> you deserve um, to die if you're not already dead. Where are you taking him? Um, are you still going up? Okay, so you, so yeah, the elevator arrives at this um, inside of the uh, the abandoned building, and there's you know the build the uh, cars around you, um, motorcycle, your little hoverboard in the corner, um, and and the most you can really think of to do with Fartbo is is the dumpster is outside. Bro, the, the implications the of this are so terrifying. Oh my god. I can't just throw him in the dumpster. You took a bite out of him! Is this your line? How is this the line? <laughs> no, let me finish, dumbass. I can't just throw him in the dumpster. Is there a sewer drainage? Yeah, yeah. If you, if you walk outside, um, you see there's like overgrowth around this building, foliage to the left and right, and you see a uh, storm drain moving down. Uh, Dakota just puts it on the ground and then uh, kicks it forward so that it slides into the drain. You, you put, <laughs> you put fart bow on the ground and you kick the container and it opens up and you see as the sludge starts to wiggle down into the storm drain and you just hear like, like fading. <laughs> <laughs> his, his eyes widen and you go, I'm sure it'll be fine. They said he was dead. <laughs> Okay, and as, the, and as the farts fade into the night, um, I assume you go back down to see uh, to see uh, William feeding Vincent copious amounts of of. I imagine uh, at this point we're both just shoveling in beef. Yeah, stroganoff. we're just shoveling it over. And are you fuck? You're like on. You're on like goop drugs right now. Hey. We saved you some hamburger helper. <laughs> oh, come on over, Dakota. It's one really taste part. I got a What's wrong? wrong about the mascot? This guy is awesome. The, you're seeing like five of them each right now. <clears throat> Eat some fast. It goes right through me. <laughs> His eyes are starting to float around his face weirdly. Did I hit you guys too hard? What are you talking about? We're fine. Here, have a bite, and I 
<laughs> I reach out a fork in his mouth. You see us, Vincent. Vincent moving we both, I want to both have fork. forks coming at him at the same time. Okay. <laughs> Vincent on one side and William on the other, both holding these forks. <laughs> these forks start to turn into what look like just claws, holding guys? like... Guys? Like, uh, hamburger helper I in them. <laughs> We're gonna help you. You won't be hungry burger, for much burger, burger, Wait, burger, burger. Wait, I'm not hungry anymore. Burger, burger, I'm not hungry. Burger. As this like claw of <laughs> of hamburger helper on either side moves closer towards you, um. <laughs> And their faces start to look even more menacing. Hey, Vincent, They're... by the way, does it look like Dakota's on drugs or what? <laughs> to yeah, you guys, I don't know Dakota what he is like. Dakota is like mortified looking at you just holding forks of hamburger. Their hands helper. turn into yeah, the hamburger I'm sure we can make hand. him. I'm sure we can make him feel better. I think this Here, just strong enough to make him feel better. Villains! Villains! I have to stop the evil! Become the beast! I think he's cracked the- I think he's cracked out. Something's wrong with him. Why is he screaming at us? Cole style taekwondo! Why is he saying that? Why is he saying Cole style taekwondo? I'm gonna run towards them and I'm gonna kick both- Dakota, it's not training time. It's hamburger time! No! Don't do it! Oh god! <laughs> Who's he going for? Who's he going for? Eight, that's 18 to hit. Okay, against okay, who? Okay, 18, 18 to hit. Um, Vincent, how are you looking? Uh, that's gonna hit for sure. I love fighting my friends on accident. 20. 20? Yeah, so I got a 20. Okay, so you, you pretty much resist this, uh, this kick coming towards you. You see, is it uh, like Dakota, at my head? I, I like, I like brace yeah. my forearm with my other forearm as it comes D Dakota, in. Dakota, explain, explain how you go in for this kick. Drop kick. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, there's no, there's no skill behind this. It's just a straight so up he, drop kick. He, just kinda, he takes a couple steps back and he just, huh, okay. you hear him like Wait. yelling. There, the, in his mind, there are speed lines behind him. You are the villain and he is saving the world right now. In real life, he is sluggishly like jogging towards you. And he, he jumps up. He jumps up and his feet come like It's actually weird right how much this happens, huh? Head. And yeah, how do you, how do you, um, how do you resist Um, this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just sidestep slowly, grab his legs, <laughs> kind of swing him around and throw him back. <laughs> okay, okay. You throw him and he goes flying over into the couch. Um, Dakota, what are you doing here? Sleeping. <laughs> are you passed out on the couch? Okay. Well, I'm okay. <laughs> All right, I mean, that and was That's it interesting. for Dakota, I guess. Hey, well, you know I have nothing else to do tonight either. I'm like, <laughs> um, I, yeah. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna go to bed like a normal person. I, I'm standing there, like head slightly slanted, sleeping. I won't okay. let you win. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna try and drag them to bed. There's like, they're okay. just like roll them into it. No, I I walk with you. Yeah, if you just like give me a little push, I take steps. Yeah, right over this um, way. For for Vincent, I'd say you can just you just lead him to bed. Uh, if you want to get Dakota okay, to his Dakota. bed, make a make right. a strength check. Just like you said, I gotta find my inner strength, Dakota. Here it is. So as you're trying <laughs> to pull Dakota <laughs> off of this, like pull him up, you get him like off of the couch. He is just flat down on the floor. He is fast <laughs> the fuck out. Okay, and that you, should be that should be good enough. <laughs> you're able to get him to his room by like rolling his body. He just doesn't can't, wake up. You can't, like, lift him. <laughs> um, I mean, Dakota, do you wake up or anything? Would you wake up to this? You're pretty fucked up right now. As you're leaving, you feel him grab your ankle. Oh, no. As he's laying down, <laughs> and he's like this with his ankle, and he's grabbing on. And you hear him go. Wait. Don't let go. Dakota? You're gonna fall. I'm not gonna fall. What do you mean? You're gonna fall. Don't let go. I'll pull you up. 
<laughs> I thought he was gonna fucking yank my leg and I was gonna eat shit and pass out because I am so I am so close to like just becoming incapacitated. No, he lets go after that. Okay, he lets go. My and life then, flashed um, before my eyes. You just, couldn't get him. He's just his having bed. a, a, huh, a nightmare. Just, no, I got he's it. I got on it. his floor. His floor is like. Uh, what, how would you say your room looks, Dakota? Is it messy? It's like. It's it's really simple actually. Um, mm -hmm. there'd probably just be like maybe a pillow on the ground and a blanket. There's no mattress, no bed. Oh, okay. Not a whole lot of. I mean, like the skateboard would be there. Maybe like a, a headphones and something. Or like yeah, a, just, just a generic. Signed by silhouette. A, a <laughs> music player. Headphones awesome. and stuff. But everything else there's not a lot of furniture at all. Everything's okay. really plain. Nothing on the walls. Uh, you, you see all that stuff skewing across his room. You haven't really been in his room too many times. Um, it's but, oddly so, just empty, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Um, and then uh, when you when you go um, go to your bed, I assume. Uh, yeah, I do. William, I do. is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, no. I I, I if I ch if I step wrong, if I step on a pebble, I will fall over and and die so i'm i'm just gonna go to bed you're just gonna go and jump in your bed? rubbing okay. rubbing my fucking solar plexus from where i got hit by a volleyball okay <laughs> um you go over and you you jump down into your bed and as you are jumping into your bed i want you to hmm go to sleep like a normal person <laughs> uh i'll just say this happens as you go to jump down into your bed <laughs> You find yourself going intangible, and you fall <laughs> right down, right like down underneath. That, I like your to think that I like to think there's not enough space between the bed and the thing to like kind of like shimmy out. <clears throat> yeah, no. So it, okay. for your bed, the uh, there's like a a wooden barrier around it. So you are now just like you've fallen underneath the mattress, and you are in some like cubby space, and you are hey, stuck there. Finson. Dakota! <laughs> it is it is incredibly you guys... silent. <laughs> you hear snores uh, to the walls. Tide, I hope you're are you feeling you better? Hear, you hear you hear distant farts. Okay. <laughs> that's I, that's okay, I'll just And you're I'll just stay here. Your stomach um your stomach starts to feel a little queasy as well. Seems like that hammer oh. over is not sitting right with you. Oh, that was. <laughs> I start banging against it. Hey, <laughs> Vincent. There is I'm gonna help you with so much math. We didn't watch the movie Big Mud. I mean, does anyone hear this? Is anyone hearing? He they says won. the words they won. Big Mud. Okay, yeah, no. <laughs> no. Okay. That would make sense. That... <clears throat> and with that, all of you uh, go to sleep. I mean, I guess you just uh... nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. That's all. <laughs> I guess you just sleep through it. I'm just un yeah, I'm just fucking under. I just am, am planking <laughs> under the bed, just looking up. Not enough space to move or turn over, so I just close my eyes, I guess. And with that, we move to the next day. Good morning. Um, you Vincent, all Dakota, are you awake yet? <laughs> you Anyone? all wake up to the sound of Tide with a bullhorn going. I smack my head against the bottom of the, the fucking bed. I run over here extremely fast. <laughs> you, you run over there. Uh, hey, hey, are you all right? You stand uh, William. at attention. I'm in, I'm in the bed. Where? No, you're not. And yes, I jump I on the I'm bed. In bed. I'm in bed. <laughs> he jumps, he jumps on the you? bed and you, you feel the force it? knock down into you. <laughs> Dakota, you feel, you feel fine again this morning. Oh, 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 you're underneath. I'm under the, can you lift, just lift it up? I think, I think he went intangible again. I, I just used two fingers and lift up the, the bed. Okay. All the yeah, way. Uh, hey, Dakota, thank you. Uh, no problem. <laughs> and that was awful. Up, you go intangible once again and you fall. What do you mean, that was so not... bad, I can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> William. Hey, Vincent, Dakota, anyone there? <laughs> you just hear him muffled through the floor. He is now in the basement. I'll find his way up. Why does it smell like farts down here? <laughs> just go, just... <laughs> I knock on, I, 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 uh, I let go of the bed, knock on the ground. Hey, just use the elevator! Bram, I use the elevator. Yeah, you're right, okay. I'm here now. 
you use uh, ah, you go over to the elevator and you use that um tide is now standing in the um in that center room uh waiting for all of you to get there i, I assume you all arrive yeah, of course time. of course all right heroes it's time to wake up are you ready for your first uh, mission tide yes he didn't taste very good <laughs> oh he my did, god he did yeah, That's yeah why that be that beef stroganoff really didn't sit well with me. Oh, the beef stroganoff, yes. Oh, yeah. God, I thought oh, you ate farfo. <laughs> no, we I ate thought the, you ate we farfo. Ate the, that would have been the bad. beef stroganoff, yeah. Who's farfo? I just ate the jelly that you handed me. <laughs> the je- What? I tried to, but it was disgusting. So I threw it in the sewer. <laughs> He puts his hands on his head and, like, looks just, just in awe at what you have done. Like, What's oh up? my god. Hey, now, Tide, listen, we're just heroes in training, but, you know, that sounds to me, on paper, really dangerous. Like a level five containment breach? Yeah, you know, and it's not really our fault, because really, you're supposed to be looking after us, and also not supposed to have a level five containment breach villain in our fridge. What was wrong with the jello? Honestly, I I would argue that you having the eggs loose was level 6. Yeah, that was pretty fucked up. That was pretty what messed up. A tray. But seriously, I'm is what do we need to do? This is not good, is it? <laughs> He's just jaw dropped looking at you. Anyway, we have a scientist to save, right? Yeah. Um Is Mrs. G going to be mad at me? Yes, if you say something. So don't. <laughs> But I can't lie to her. I mean, you could. Have we ever he met them before? You. Uh, yeah, you've met you've met Miss G um once or twice. You you've met Harlem the most. Harlem is the one who recruited all of you and brought you. I shake down. my head at Tide. No, no, I couldn't. Okay, well, if she asks, um, just don't say anything. Anyway, uh, I am gonna go handle that. But first, we need to get you set up on your mission. Yeah, it sounds. It sounds pretty serious. I don't know why everyone's been so enthusiastic about it. Yeah. Uh, that's I just mean, like, kind of have this is kind of hero talk, I guess. I don't, what was her name? Doctor. Somebody's Clutch life or is in danger. Okay. Let me give you a Dr. quick brief. So, Doctor Jennifer Lutz, she's Clutz. been taken. She's been taken to an island called Hardawa Island. We believe she's inside some facility deep within the forest. Did you say Idaho? Idaho Island. I'm not going back to Idaho again. Utah. <laughs> children. It's not uh, really, really children. remotely funny. Um, <laughs> I've never heard that one. William, you don't even, I'm gonna have you <laughs> lead the team on Vincent, this. Vincent, you don't even mission. know what that means. Up top. <laughs> Thank you, Ty. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna be my point man. Anything goes wrong, you call old Ty. Although. Maybe I will give be me like 30 you. minutes to figure out what to do about Fartbo. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, first first thing, definitely something's already gone wrong. Well, I, don't worry about that. Listen, we don't know why this scientist is being kept there, so any information that you retrieve from this island I'll let will you know. be crucial. Make sure you take as many notes, remember your training, and like Miss G says, have fun. <laughs> I'm gonna set up the copter to auto-take you there. And you'll just drop in. I would suggest uh, taking a stealth approach, but you are open to do whatever it is you'd like. We'll make sure to Wait. get her out safely. Wait, when you sit down, do they call you low tide? I give Tide a call. Hey, something came up. <laughs> oh, sorry, I've got to take this. Hello! Hey, um, we've got a problem. What are you? Why are you guys talking on the phone? Is it Dakota? Here, I'll I'll will let you I'll let Dakota handle this and give it over to Dakota. He's standing right in front of you still. Tide, Tide, I don't yes. know why we're doing this, but when you do drugs, did I call you High Tide? <laughs> I take it back. I take I'm it back. Gonna like go you can set see, up the copter now. like you can see, it's really bad out here. <laughs> I hope the three of you have so much fun and don't get lost and never come back. I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Tied, you're so classic you. He walks out the door. <laughs> Are you go He's gone. <laughs> He's gone. Just like the Tide. Where's the helicopter? 
Okay, yeah, let's go. Uh, Come on, guys. What happened to the tides? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> where'd they go? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, what's up, guys? I hope you're enjoying episode two of Prime Defenders. I really love this campaign and this little arc we go on that we're showing you guys, so I'm hoping you are. Um, really excited for you guys to see it all. In any case, this episode is sponsored by Honey. That's right, from the bees. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, I mean the shopping app. Listen, if you're like me, you don't like leaving your house to do your shopping. I get it, okay? I'm just too lazy to go outside. And why should I when I can get all these killer deals on Honey? for some online shopping. Listen, it's super easy, okay? All you gotta do is go to joinhoney.com slash J-R-W-I, and from there, you can start getting some insane savings. For instance, like that pizza I bought last week in a moment of weakness. Shouldn't have done that. Saved five dollars, though. So if you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. It's literally free, and it installs in a few seconds, and by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. Uh, you can get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash jrwi. That was joinhoney.com slash jrwi. Uh, thank you again for Honey for sponsoring us today. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, <laughs> pizza pie. that's... Vincent, tomorrow. do you have a contact high right now? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, you guys would know that... Um, Amore. That the, the uh... The helicopter is actually on the ground level and it um it appears on a on a platform oh, behind cool. the uh the factory or not factory, a building shotgun um, i want to hang never, off of the little the little leg things you've never taken it outside of rockfall and you've also never taken it alone oh shit Wait, we're flying it well, it's, it's yeah, autopilot. It's autopilot. But okay. yeah, sure. I think I know. Um, all, all we need to do is find the on button. Okay, so you guys go up there and yeah. Okay, yeah. so you, you mm -hmm. go up the elevator. Get load up in. Yep. I'm hopping yep. in. Um, Tide is just putting in the the GPS coordinates for you. Good luck with Fartbo out here. Sorry about that. Thanks. I will absolutely need it. He is a dastardly villain who took very much effort to catch last time. Yeah. Can't believe I left him with a 17-year-old. You know, you know, Dakota always taking a bite out of crime. And remember, William, I'm <laughs> counting on you to keep those other ones in line. I should use that as my slogan. So, if something goes wrong, just to be clear, that's on me? Don't worry, nothing will go wrong. It's us. Exactly. It's the yeah, three nothing, of us. Nothing will go wrong. You've got nothing to worry about. I have the, the utmost faith in heroes. you specifically, William. And oh, Dakota, yeah. you're going to be there too. And Vincent, hey, I'll see you later. What do you mean? He walks away. I I think I'm fully I've I killed dragons, you know. On my shoulders. I've killed literally dragons. Giant eyeballs! They he's, shoot as lasers! He's walking, as he's walking Your imagination away. is amazing. <laughs> sure you have, son. <laughs> We've been watching too many movies lately, huh, Vincent? <clears throat> you would really <laughs> like manga. Have you ever tried it? Manga? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> There's these stories about these characters that start I punch it! I go as fast as I can! <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and William hits the hits the button that sends this this helicopter flying up into the air. <laughs> And and you you are now flying over Rockfall, um, now getting a getting a better look at the city than you than you've had before. You see that there aren't so many tall buildings. It looks almost suburban. You know, the houses all throughout the city. A lot of trees, parks, um, foliage. It, it, it doesn't seem to be a a huge town, but it is. But it is a lively town. There are people yeah. moving through through the streets, having um. You know, lunch out on outside uh, balconies, and and it, it's a it's a nice place. There are apartment buildings. Um, you, you get a good look at the city. It's a beautiful city. <laughs> so we have these now, wrist things. I was curious if we do we have any sort of briefing on who this scientist actually is. Um. Yes, actually, if you want to, uh, I would look, look around at that. the uh, yes. Look around the helicopter. <laughs> uh, the helicopter. You mm -hmm. would actually see a a briefing packet left on a seat you would open that up 
and you would read. I open it and I don't give it to any of the other two. I do not give it to them. I do not give it to them. The, all the windows are sealed. Every window is closed. There are no open William, windows. William, what's that? What's that? What's that? Let me read. Let me read. I make sure everyone ate. I make sure everyone ate breakfast. And I make sure that all the windows are closed. <laughs> okay. I okay. take away everything flammable in the entire room. So when you open up this document, you see you, basically the information you take away is that um, Dr. Lutz is a DNA specialist working at Forest Technologies. Uh, she's probably like in her in her mid thirties. Uh, she's one of the most well respected DNA specialists um, in the country, and, and she for sure uh, has been a part of many breakthrough technologies, um, such as like experimental gene splicing work. Uh, that's what she's most known for. Uh, you, you basically get a get an image of her again. She is where she has blonde hair with green eyes and more rounded features and um, She stands at about five seven and she wears this lab coat um, With just some uh, basic pants, lab pants Yeah, I make sure I make sure to show them a picture and give them a description of who we're looking for as well So this is dr. Lutz don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it Dakota stop stop get away get away Don't eat it. She's not as pretty as Miss G. Vincent, put that rat away. I, I throw it out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Squee! Can't have anything around here. Okay, listen, for real though, I, I um, listen, I don't know how many times I need to explain it to you guys, okay? I, I, I'm not from here. No, this is, I'm not from here. Yeah, neither am I. I get it. I get it. Totally from, out of my I'm element. Completely just a different world. Like, Sometimes you know, it's it just... feels like that. I understand. It's just, you know, you know, I haven't seen my, my parents in- I was supposed to take over the family business. <laughs> I don't have any parents. Hey, man. You're- I- I- I, I used to go on- on, on adventures and <laughs> kill dragons. How long do we have on the flight, computer? <laughs> okay, so, so uh, you guys, um- If that's passing... how you cope, buddy, I totally understand, and I just rub his back a little bit. <laughs> That feels uh, really nice. <laughs> so passing over uh, Rockfall, you move through, and then you pass over the beautiful city of New Haven. I don't need to describe that again. It's just a, it's just lively, more lively than it's it was gorgeous. even back then when I described it. Ten do years it anyway. Ago. Do it just brief, brief, so people get the visual. <clears throat> okay, I want to okay, see it in my mind. Okay. So moving away from this suburban area, you you look down and you see these tall buildings with with different skyways moving through, helicars going all around, many, many different uh, companies with their logos slapped on buildings. And, and instead of having, you know, a lot of street crime down there and empty streets, you can see that even the, the lower levels of New Haven now are, are just beautiful with, with just well-kept foliage and, and all of that. This, this city is thriving more than it ever has in the past. Um, I mean, it is it is a concrete jungle, pretty much. Yeah. Um, and moving moving past this city, even as you as you go on your flight, uh, you would you would also pass over Coastal City, which is a, a city on the coast, uh, right past New Haven, and it is it is more like almost tropical. They've got like the houses okay. are sparse um, that with the dirt and the and the pavement turns to sand and and wood, beaches, it's, it's a very nice city. Um, it's, it's a smaller one. It's definitely not as big as New Haven. Going over New Haven is, is probably what takes the most amount of time. And then, that's when you get into international waters, baby. That's when you're flying over, over the oh, ocean. Oh, shit! Uh, you've got what? about I'm looking out the window, it's pretty cool. Got about eight minutes. You see a couple, like, uh, just small islands around some are some are a little bigger some are a little smaller um you see you see cool like wildlife in the um uh, or ocean life swimming around sick um if, if there's anything else you guys would like to do before you uh arrive at i like to i like to picture them 
like giving each other all of this like reassurance and like backstory and tragic shit and i'm just sitting looking out the window and like they're all low pass and i just hear crawling in my skin inside my head <laughs> <laughs> I, I definitely wouldn't be sharing uh anything more sad than what i said but as yeah. we were passing over uh new haven um at least in the back where the seats where me and vincent are if if uh mm -hmm. if William isn't in the same place. Uh, Dakota would, be, would be going be from window to window and be pointing out the different locations. Be like, look, right over there. That's where Mrs. G talked to that really big man one time. I saw it on the news. And then he points to me and be like, look over there. That's that's when a few years ago they talked. They uh, they defeated the, the the first dark star from the museum and all the kids were at the museum. Let's do really well on this mission, all right? If you want to impress Miss G, gotta make sure we do this stealthy. Don't cause a stir. Get Doctor Lutz out easily and cleanly. He cracks his neck. <laughs> if it's for Miss G. It's for Miss G. I'll make sure we succeed. Promise her. And I roll up his sleeve. <laughs> Look her in the eyes. <laughs> you roll, he roll up the sleeve and it's another sleeve, but this time it's a tattoo sleeve. Just all the different, <laughs> all the different moments in time. All of the many you know Miss G's. <laughs> you know what, Dakota? I didn't even know that was going to be there. <laughs> I just thought it might be. I don't even remember putting this on my arm. But it fits. <laughs> it does. Let's do it for Miss G, alright? Wait, do you not put those tattoos on yourself? Let's do it for the How'd you off. get that other rat? How'd you where'd you get that from? <laughs> I just I keep him on hand. Vincent is just holding a rat in his hand. I, ch I checked everything. How do you have a rat? <laughs> I open a department and there's just a bunch of rats scurrying around. I Why is there a rat there. compartment in the helicopter? Who installed the rats? What the I fuck is Hyde. with us and the rats? <laughs> um, you hear it come over the, the intercom. Hey, uh, this is this is Tide. Um, I'm noticing a couple more uh, heat signatures on the helicopter. <laughs> I was just wondering what that's about. I close it. Oh, there uh, they're we gone. saved. That's very strange that they went away as I we came saved over the some intercom. kids. They're really small. There were wow. some children in a in, a, in a tree. Yeah, now Man. we're bringing them to the island. That's very dangerous. Yeah, there were a lot of what? a lot of little hairy children. No, 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 uh -huh. no! Do not bring them to the island. I'm gonna turn it around. I'm gonna turn it around. No, no don't wait. turn it around. Don't worry. Turn it around. I've don't dropped worry. them off safely <laughs> in the ocean. <laughs> You drop they were brats all of the rats out I drop the all water. of the rats out into the water, yeah. No! <laughs> My rats! You're what? It's all right, they had I said, special I said, I said, I said they were brats. Anyways, not rats. Oh, 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 that's worse, I think. Um, you've got it Listen, under control, right? Ty, don't worry, everything's totally fine over there. Just make sure you take care of that level five breach. William, what happens if I hop out of the helicopter over the sea? <laughs> no! <laughs> Cut off the connection. <laughs> yeah, that's our... Everything's fine. <laughs> he, he cuts out. I'm going to set a world record. <laughs> For what? <laughs> Highest dive. You know what? And he just looks out the window. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Are you going to do it? Jump out uh, of the helicopter? Cause cause you, are, you, are, you are approaching... I'm just the, uh, looking the other way, just like, you know what? <laughs> you can see that the island that you're going to. Um, oh, if like if it's in swimming if it's in swimming distance, then yes, it is yeah. absolutely. If you let me jump out of the helicopter and do the longest dive, in the I, I'm like of... doing the thing like a parent does, where they're facing the other way, and I look back and see that you're priming to go, and I'm just like, oh shit! <laughs> I'll meet you guys at the island. He <laughs> <laughs> holy shit! He jumped. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to look at the back. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I'm hopping at the chopper. Uh, I just um, no. put my hands together like a swan. I straighten okay. them out, uh, and I just do a dive. And and then I, I hope that the helicopter has an ability to measure the distance. So I set the uh, New Haven world record for the highest dive, and then I'm gonna swim to the island. William, as you see this. Yep, there happening. it goes. How, what's your reaction? What would you say? <clears throat> I don't know. This isn't really surprising at this point. What are we? Yeah, what are we gonna call our new team, Vincent? Uh, you have ghost powers. I have a, a knife. 
Ghost knife. <laughs> Ghost knife. That's kind of cool. <laughs> As that's you're saying cool. that's kind of cool, you fall. I say as I'm rubbing my solar plexus, I fall! <laughs> you fall. You, you go intangible once again. And you know, fall Vincent, through the floor of the things helicopter. are starting to look up for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have a are. chopper! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, man! I guess you, I'm just nice. You fall. I like to think that we're a little higher, so I set the new record. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the helicopter goes up just a little bit over top. I'm not gonna be the only one not jumping out of this fucking helicopter. Um, okay, uh, yeah, the, the helicopter actually stops where it is, Vincent. Guys, can um, you even swim that distance? I think I only did because I knew I could. Island. It's not that far. It's maybe. Like, I didn't uh, do it. I didn't want to do it. Here I go. It's, it's not that far. It's just like a few feet. Like maybe like like maybe like a couple yards, maybe maybe a couple meters. Like. 50, it's 50 meters. You can swim like 50 meters, right? Don't That's worry fine. about the distance, bro. Just pick a number. Now, oh, I'm, uh, dude, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. What am I doing here? What am I doing? Um, so you, um, how do you want to react to this? Well, well you want to go for a dive? Do you want to try listen, and fly? Listen, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Ordinarily, I would try and stop it, but listen, you I, want I want that you record. I want that record. Yeah, if he shouts at me. You're right. It doesn't. I'm gonna put my guard up. Just like you tell me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fucking. I'm going for a dive, dude. I'm going for a dive. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna. I'm gonna turn. I want to turn intangible, so there's not even a splash. Ooh, 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 no. You, I mean, you will. Okay. You're gonna like fall to the bottom of the. Didn't think about that. I'm gonna turn intangible, so the surface doesn't kill me, and then I'm gonna turn unintangible. That's my plan. You do two beautiful flips going down. And you reach the new record as as Dakota <laughs> splashes into the water. Dakota, you look up into the sky and you see <laughs> you see the helicopter just slightly higher than where it was before. And William, uh, just a little, just <laughs> flipping down. You just you just see me like still just standing like I was speaking with someone, just whoop, and then kind of like <laughs> still in like a pencil position, flip over backwards twice, and then just go at first into the water like without a splash. I swim over. Uh, <clears throat> are you are you uh, frolicking? Yeah, I turn I turn unintangible when I'm below the surface and swim yeah. back up. <sighs> oh man! That you was, didn't tell I me you were gonna beat my record. Ah, no one told me either. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a show off um, sometimes, um, William. Okay, now Dakota was cool. I don't mean to take away from the moment. That's all right. I'll Vincent, beat you next time. Vincent is alone on the helicopter. I'm I'm knife. I'm the new team name. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, Vincent, or knife, I guess. You are you are on this helicopter and it is not moving. It is not descending. It is just it is just hovering over top of this island with land now below it. Um I'll catch you! <laughs> on, on a screen, um, on the center console oh, of this Christ. of this helicopter, pops up big text that just says "jump," and behind you, in the back, uh, pops out a parachute. <laughs> but but you have never seen a parachute before. If you want to use it, I would. What, how do you want to handle this? How do you want to handle this? Just says jump on the screen. I look at it. That's insane. I look Holy back shit. at this backpack. <laughs> <laughs> there is, how many parachutes are there? There's three. I, okay, I look at this backpack. I go and I open it and I unpack it. <laughs> I unpack the backpack. <laughs> you unpack it. There's a strange blanket in here. It's really big and there's like, there's like ropes attaching it and stuff. I I wrap myself in the blanket. <laughs> Get ready to catch him, he's coming up! He said, and he said, and this hear, bastard's gonna try and set the new record! You hear over the- You're over land right now, by the way. Uh, not mm -hmm. over the water. Yeah, um, I know. No, not, not on our watch. Over there? Awesome. Not on our watch. Let's catch him! You hear over the intercom. Hey, uh, Vincent, um, it looks like you're the only one left in there. Listen, if you're scared of using the parachute, I understand, buddy. What's I, a I parachute? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. 
Oh right, yeah, um, they already jumped out of the plane, the, the, the helicopter. By the way, they didn't put these things. They, they didn't get there. Right, hate backpacks. to jump on the frequency here, but I think we're getting some eyes on on the chopper. So Vincent, what you want to do is just put the straps over your shoulders. You want to secure the yellow and blue latches. After that, you want to make sure that the sh the shoulder straps okay. are good. Okay. Set them to uh, the third notch. All right. Now what you want to do is right uh, about. 300 meters before you hit the ground, you want to make sure to pull that red tab on the left there. Make sure whatever you do, not the right one, not that big one. Pull the small one on the left. Now, some of the backpacks are for lefties, so they could be flipped, but I trust you'll be able to figure it out. Okay, well, I did up to where I connected the okay. two things together. All right. William? Yeah? What's up? What's wrong with this pair of shoes? What's... Am I supposed to take off my shoes before I jump? Yeah, you are. I throw my shoes outside of the helicopter and you see them plummet to the ground. You see a shoe oh, it looks like he fixed the problem. And it hits, are you it coming? It's Dakota right on the head. Great job using the pair of shoes. How the fuck Come on I down. Am? All right, coming down. All right. <laughs> and I so jump you... out. Does he pull the tab? <laughs> Do you pull it? I mean, I you probably it. you would have known to pull it. I don't know how much 300 meters is, so I cut it really close. No, uh, okay. Okay, you just pull it real quickly. Parachute yeah. opens up, and you get a good view at this island. There there are tall, tall trees going all around. Different kinds of trees, too. It's not like a normal forest where you would just see, like, oak trees or, or whatever. There are, there are palm trees next to, um, like, spruce trees. It's, it's just... It's almost like like someone planted every kind of tree here. And you can see several different kinds of wildlife, from, from zebras to uh, larger reptiles. Um, it's, there are, there are is many this where Dr. Of... Lutz works? No, no. This is, uh, mm. to your knowledge, this is where she was kidnapped and taken to. Okay. There is a okay. facility in there, and that actually takes me to, in the in the center of all this, this foliage, these jungle trees surround this, um, this, this concrete fortress that you can see. It's like, it's essentially like a rectangular center with two uh, entrance ways on, on either side. Um, and you can see a couple henchmen uh, hanging around. They've got, uh, you can't really see, they kind of just look like green dots to you. Mm -hmm. All right, gang, let's go kick some ass. Okay, now hang on. Down. Yeah, Vincent, <laughs> Vincent, you come down onto the uh, onto the beach where where they would arrive. You start walking away. I never Happy learned how to land in a parachute, so I kind of land in face plant. <laughs> Here I go to beat the bad guys. Okay, now hang on, Dakota. Just one second there. Remember, Miss G did ask if we could do it stealthy. How do you do that? I pull, I pull up his shirt and he's got a reverse fucking <laughs> tattoo facing up. Look down, look down at Miss G. It's too much, it's too many tattoos at this point. It's a sure, it. temporary. <laughs> okay. Tattoos are temporary, Miss G is forever, come on. <laughs> okay, so what does stealth entail? Um, well, just stay really low, try not to get spotted, and until they do, try not to fight anyone. Also, be very quiet. This doesn't sound very fun. You're not supposed to sound. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, how All do you right. Guys so just stay low. This? You um, there's there's a good bit of forest between you and and this facility. So do uh, these? Th I want to ask if these trees and animals do they seem natural or do they seem like they were kind of spliced together and then like they. Um, if you want me to roll for it, I can. Yeah, roll for it. Absolutely, absolutely. That is a natural one. It's that's some trees. Big, tall, little, small. Those trees. There's wow. trees. Wow. There's trees here, gang. They're everywhere. Wow. With your, with your superior uh, detective skills, you have deduced yep. that there are leaves on the trees, and that animals live here. Yeah, I definitely, like, I, I fucking pick a leaf, like, blow it sort of with the wind, like, measure where it goes, lick my finger, touch a zebra. <laughs> <laughs> You're so smart, Will. Thanks. I know all I need to know now. Let's go. Where? To the... 
I never thought I'd be the babysitter. I never thought I would be the babysitter. <laughs> I'm gonna climb a tree and, and traverse by a treetop. <laughs> okay, you guys see uh, Vincent climb oh, no. a tree. One second, guys, I think you can get a better viewpoint up here. <laughs> he climbs up this, this tall oak tree and he gets to the top and, and you see as he starts to try and traverse through the other trees, um, he goes for a jump and, and just like f belly flops onto a palm <laughs> frond and <laughs> just falls straight down to the ground in front of you with a loud thud. Nice. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put on like a like a black kind of like half mask, like something aside, like I still have the, the hoodie obviously, the dark hoodie, but I think I wanna put Can, on like a little half mask. You know what I think would be cool for your character? I actually was just thinking about this. Um, what? I was thinking about it too. What if, what if you could possibly like, it almost like casts a shadow over, over the top half of your face. Oh, that's kind of cool. To like keep keep anyone from seeing, you just keep your hood up, and once your hood goes up, the like everything above your like lip is. Yeah, sure. You can't really you can't really tell what's going on there. Yeah, I like that. You can maybe okay. see the the whites of the eyes, but that's mm -hmm. it. Classic comic book bullshit. Yeah, I I, I want to <laughs> go ahead and pull my head up and and basically keep my head down. Not gonna go invisible Sweet. or anything. Just kind of creeping through here. Um, as right, I belly flop, just... I army crawl through the forest. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> intentional. That um, that thud on the ground when you fell out of the tree. Um, you you kind of hear some rustling in the bushes uh, after that thud, but not much more from there. Um, I would say you you don't. It doesn't seem like anyone's noticed you as of right now. Okay. <laughs> um. So what do you guys want to do? Right now, uh, the the facility is to your west, which is forward. You're facing west and moving towards it. Okay, yeah. Um, I think I I would look for a, look for a clearing and just try and basically, um, I don't know if I have like equipment. So I think I just pull out my phone and use the camera to zoom in and look for like a point that is basically weak in this kind of uh, security. Would anyone like to help him? And, and how? Tell me how before use, he tells me the role. I would not like to help him. <laughs> okay. I'm very, very concentrated on not rushing in and fighting. All he's saying inside his head is, don't rush in. Don't rush in. Stealth. Vincent, Stealth. Do, you, do you want to help or not? Be quiet. Trying to think of a way I could help you. <laughs> You're using a smartphone. I mean, uh, you could just fucking, like, poke it. <laughs> You could look at the screen as well and point things out and mention it. Uh, yeah, else. sure. I'll, you okay. know, I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. I'm not fully zoomed in here. Go ahead, and, go ahead and throw another. I'm roll so out impressed there. with the fact that he even knows what zoom means. Is a uh, fatal twenty three. Yep. Okay, so what you can see from here is the entire facility is essentially just a rectangle, like I described, with two. Yeah. Um, with two like openings on either side, almost almost like hallways leading in, uh, there there are two guards on the side that you are on, standing right outside the uh, the door. On the roof, you can see several windows opening up, like skylights. Mm -hmm. um, oh, you can see windows around the facility as well. Towards the left side, uh, you can see windows with with several guards in a room. Uh, they're sitting at a table, and to the right, uh, there are less guards, and, and moving around the back, it almost seems like, like the, um, like the concrete this facility is made of is, is, is being chipped away at. It, it looks like it's degraded over time. Um, around the back? Eroded, yeah. Yeah, around the, to the right uh, side of this opening that you're looking at, essentially. Right. Dakota starts taking off the flannel and tying it around his waist as we're crouched down. He's like, all right, let's go take him out. No, okay, so no, 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 I no, see no, a weak no. point there. I see a weak point. We can approach from that angle. Avoid any anyone anyone seeing us while we slip in. So we're okay. not going to fight them? Without even punching anyone. Not a single fist thrown. Not a single knife stabbed. Guys, oh. this, is your, this is your biggest <laughs> test yet. Well, I didn't really plan on stabbing anybody yet anyway. I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, you see as I slowly sheath my knife. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> well, you got I this. can't. 
It's for Miss G. It's for Miss G. I can't control myself anymore, Dakota, William. Dakota, You're Dakota, why do you have your battle cry face on? Why do you have that face? Don't have that face on right now. We gotta slip in, just right past that way. Shh, sun's getting real low. Dakota, I'll train with you like for an entire night straight. If you if you don't do this, Dakota, do I will that. train with you for as long as I can. I have to hold back against you guys, but these guys, I don't. Okay, Dakota, tell you what, if we see anyone on their own on the way in, My you can take so them sweet. down, you can take them down silently. I see that your knees are weak. No, oh, my knees are pumped up. I'm ready. <laughs> you just say the word, and whoever you point at, they're down. Okay, okay. I'm gonna save that point, but if we get in there, and anyone spots us, I'm gonna point at them, or you can just... Fucking go for it, man. If somebody sees us, yeah, that's when you do it. And I, I'll stab them as well. <laughs> <laughs> Just no matter what, no matter what happens, they can already be down, doesn't matter. I'm going to put my knife in them. <laughs> okay, so which way are you guys approaching from? Dude, fucking Vincent. Vincent wants the XP, man. Um... <laughs> We, we're gonna we're gonna approach the decrepit side with the fewer guards, right? I mean, it, that's what I'm gonna do. I don't want to okay. speak for anyone else. So are you are you leading the rest that way, or what is everyone else doing? That's what I would try and do. Yes. Yeah, I would totally follow. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll follow. For now. Dakota, you sure? Okay, for now. All right. Um, so you guys move down, um, knowing that they can. I mean, they can see you just like you can see them. So so you're moving through the trees and trying to come around to the more decrepit side and moving over to the uh, to the back side of this facility, you can see that, yeah, the, the concrete has definitely been eroded um, a lot and there's there's a, a slight uh, opening at the bottom that you can kind of just peek through or or even like slide into if you're, if you maybe like pulled it open a little bit more, like chipped it away a little more. Um, what are you, how are you uh, approaching this? I've been doing a lot so far, I wanna let you guys. Okay. Kind of following your lead at the moment, since you're telling me to be stealthy. All right, sure. All right. Um, Dakota, you think you can break that stone a little so we can get in? <laughs> <laughs> do you? I, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I kick through kick it. You kick the shit out of it and like... I do. <laughs> a lot of pent-up energy, and I just let it out right there. <laughs> I'm sure no one heard that. It's like broken concrete it's like yeah it breaks Definitely you don't even need, need to roll for that but i just want to um, make sure it shatters in the fucking dust i hit but it so you hard do hear fault. from inside the facility what the hell was that oh oh i'm so sorry william you told me to break it and no, i just it's all right here's what's gonna happen okay they're gonna come to investigate we're gonna hide around this wall and when they come to and investigate I'll stab them you guys are gonna leap out <laughs> beat the shit out of them okay <laughs> yeah uh, you hear the footsteps scurrying over to this uh, to this opening, and you hear I, like, um, them messing with some of the debris. Yeah, I want to make it, I want to have an insurance an insurance plan here. So basically, what I want to do is um, you see William in this kind of like you see his body be quickly outlined with this sort of uh, blue fire, and then it kind of like compresses into a like little point where it looks like a tiny little wisp. And then you see as this sort of blue energy moves as well, his form disappears until it's that wisp, and that wisp kind of fades out. Um, I want to go invisible, basically, and slip around behind them just in case something goes wrong here. Okay, so you go invisible and kind of slip around. Uh, these footsteps actually move away from this small opening, and, and you hear them coming around from the door to, uh, to go investigate the other side. Oh, the outside? Yeah, they would they would be moving around the outside. Basically, the door that you saw, they would be moving out of and coming around the back to mm. see. Okay. Uh, you, you can you can, like, audibly hear that. Um, yeah. Guys, they're going around to your side. Get ready. Okay. I leap out prematurely. Who wants some? Hey, what's up with the kid? Hey, God! I kick him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so when you leap out, there are two. I'm invisible, but I'm here. pointing at them both. <laughs> <laughs> there are two cards here. Um, you going left or right? I'll do. I'll do left. A NASCAR strat. NASCAR right. strat. NASCAR strat, baby. Skirt. Are there natural? Are there effects for natural ones in this game? Oh my god! Did you really? 
Yeah, I did. I did, yeah. Well, you don't hit that attack. So it is just it's automatic an auto failure. Miss. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, how do you miss? I'm. How do you? I, I want to ask Grizz. How do you miss? Because I think that's funny. <laughs> I jump out in front of him prematurely. I'm too excited. I just want to get into this fight. I want to beat these bad guys up. Uh, and I start uh, going into the, the the pose. What's the, the what's the word for it? The form. Getting stance? into the form. The stance for the kick. And mm -hmm. I go up to do the kick. And I step on one of the long ass shoelaces because my my shoes go all the way up to half my calves. No. And it, and it flips it, uh, and it, no, it gets stuck, so my foot doesn't go all the way up. Uh, and then I realize what's happening, and I look at them, and it's really awkward. And then I look <laughs> back at uh, at William, and I'm like, "Oh no!" <laughs> just, you just look over. You look at the fucking camera. Oh no! <laughs> all right. Um, uh oh. <laughs> Vincent, Vincent, is there anything you want to do? Yeah, I'm gonna. At this moment, uh, my my knife turns into a sword and shield. Um, and I become the class paladin. Okay. I'm like, it's okay. I'll save you. And I bash one of them over the head with my shield. Okay. <laughs> roll. Who the fuck is that? Vincent. <laughs> You're so big now. I'm I'm large. Use that shield to protect me. I need to tie my fucking <laughs> shoes. Yeah, he gets um. He gets bonked. He gets bonked, he gets bonked. on the head. And uh, um, resist check is 15. Okay, what do you fine. look like as a paladin? Um, so, oh, yeah, describe it. I want to see. Okay, so basically I have, like, silver helmet armor and everything, and it's, like, glowing this bright blue, kind of, like, almost, like, protruding light out of this blue on, like, the, the seams kind of deal. That's awesome, yeah. Yeah, um, so, like, I'm, like, I'm in a full coat of armor, you know? I just look <laughs> armored. <laughs> look badass, dude. Go. All right, so this uh, this armor appears on you, glistening in the sun, mm. as you pull out this sword and become the paladin and bonk the shit out of the dude. He gets knocked out. He's incapacitated. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> but the other one is still looking at you, um, and now aiming the uh, aiming the rifle at you. Uh, William, is there anything you'd like to do? Yeah, I've never done this before, um, but let's see. He's aiming a rifle. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm going to use ghost shaping. Oh. So I'm going to uh, go. I'm, there's going to be sort of a flash of, of that uh, blue fire again as I'm going to kind of come back into existence. Okay. I'm going to stretch out my uh, my hands and these these amber sort of like dark brown eyes I usually have are going to flash this uh, fiery bright blue for a second as you see these blue, light blue wisps of light forming around this guy and then solidifying in a ball. And then I want to use this and I just want to fucking like rattle him around in it. So the <laughs> he, this forms, it just forms the ball as I sort of like reach out my hand and twist it. And then I just kind of like take my hand like it's holding the ball and I just start fucking shaking it around. Okay. So I'm just bonking him up and down on this ball. Uh uh, the Fex rank. Okay, the DC is 18, so he does pass. So he just, he's just, in, he's inside it, but he doesn't get rattled around that much. Okay, so he's kind of holding himself steady in this ball that you're shaking around, and you hear him, him screaming out, but very, very, very muffled. You can't actually make out anything. It seems like this, this ball is keeping his, uh, his voice trapped inside of it. Um... Yeah, you've you've diffused die, 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 the situation. Die, 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 die. <laughs> you've diffused the situation at this point, but you now just have a dude in a ball. Oh, you know what's cool as hell? All right, I make it so, so it's selective, so he can't get in or he can't get out, but everyone else can get in. I wanna <laughs> I wanna say, Dakota, you're up, and I want him to I want you to fucking beat like fucking kill him while he's in this ball, basically. So he can't get through it. You can move through it, but he can't. Yeah, that's how it works. Okay. That's ghost shaping, baby. Oh, okay. Yep, so. Um, yeah, I, I uh, uh, in a cool little close-up shot, I <laughs> tighten my laces together, uh, and then from the, the kneeling down po uh, position, I put one of my hands. <laughs> the Air hands, Force Gs. <laughs> yes. I put one of my hands in front of my knee, and I use that uh, to boost off and lift myself and raise one of my legs into the air above his head, and then that comes striking down uh, as, I lay, uh, as I land that uh, little handstand above the head axe kick uh, all right 
Okay, so your foot comes down in this over, overhead like axe kick. Uh, and as your heel makes contact with the top of his fucking head, you see as, as his life flashes before his eyes, seeing this foot come down and just boom. His the head. start of the attack looks like a breakdance move at first, and then when That's the light awesome. comes down, my uh, my back is facing him as he falls over. He'd probably think he's okay. I kind of want him when he goes down to just like spin around it like a fucking gerbil <laughs> on a wheel. <laughs> hey, so what? Here's what happens, right? His foot comes down, crashes into this guy's skull, and he his head actually bounces off of the uh, off of one side and goes flying back to the other. But you, Dakota. As your foot comes into this, once once you are at your like furthest point in, your foot gets stuck. You cannot pull it out more. <laughs> the man is unconscious, but your foot is also stuck in this orb. Um. So you, yeah, you should be able to. Are you just doing stretches over there or something? Uh, let go of my leg. I'm tr I'm trying. I'm trying. What's with this team attack, William? This is lame. I can't even finish it. Hang on, just one second. I'm sorry, I gotta talk to the guys. I can cut your foot off. <laughs> Don't do that! <laughs> <laughs> so, savior of the people. <laughs> I wanna, yeah, I wanna go over to the, go over to this fucking, like, orb and be like, Okay, guys, you let him go, you're making me look kinda weird right now. I look like a ballerina! Okay, Man. so, I think Miss we can, can see us, maybe right? we can just, like, roll you around. <laughs> if you, if you're looking around, you would see, like, maybe just a, a small little wisp dakota what's gonna what happen you, to me <laughs> what do you mean it's okay you just it looks like you're stuck i can't really get you out um is this gonna be like billy bonka what's billy bonka in the strawberry factory that's right you're gonna get really big and blue no yeah how am i gonna be stealthy if this is if this is on my leg i don't know i'm gonna try and just drag you around do you see any like little do you see anything do i see anything <gasps> For what? What I mean, am I what? looking for? <laughs> like little <laughs> fucking wisps. Yeah. Yeah. One, yes, like, I do. I do. I see. I see right. some. And okay, like, sure. I'm gonna try somewhere. and like climb onto coat. Come here, you little shit. <laughs> <laughs> what, the, what are you doing? You start climbing around to catch this thing, and it starts flying around. It goes and flies right in front of Dakota's face, and you accidentally just. I try to eat it. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> you wanna eat it? <laughs> I'm gonna try, try, try to eat try it. Then, then you eat his hand by accident. Ah! Oh, sorry. That's not good. Come here. What's your what name? You What's your name, little guy? What's your name? Help me get hey. this motherfucker. Are there any guards nearby? Looking. I at bet you had this? so many regrets in life. Yeah, I bet you had so many. He's just, Come here. He's just stopped floating, and he is now just like there. And then he the wisp? dissipates. Yeah, he dissipates, and then uh, and then uh, Dakota just falls down. Oh, my leg is free now. <clears throat> Another job well done. Yeah, uh, what the hell sorry was that? about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry about that. Just, let's just keep going. Okay, but you have you have to explain what happened just now. Otherwise, I'm never going to do. I'm not going to do another team attack with you. <laughs> but I really, I could be. It, it was going to be really cool. Yeah. Here, I'm. I'm actually going to see if um. <clears throat> can we take the gear off these guys? Yeah, totally. <laughs> okay, cool. I want to take their. I want to take their radio. Mm -hmm. Um, if they have one, yeah, uh, I do. and I want to oh. offer up, I want to, oh. <laughs> no, God, <laughs> oh, come in, did you find the disturbance? Where's Mrs. Uh, I fucking saw it out of his hands. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Lutz, Mrs. Who, Mrs. G, because I really like her. If she's here, let me know. I want an autograph. Give me that walkie-talkie back. No, I can't give this back to you. Don't take it. Don't take it. He's, not, he's, like, he's not being serious about the Miss G. You can't have Miss G. No, no. They're not trying to take Miss G from you. <laughs> I pick up the other radio. Okay, what are you doing? Hello. Hello? <laughs> I die. You just, I die. You're just, you're just looking at it. You do not press the button for you do not Hello? know what this is. <laughs> Hello. God's grant me strength. How do I use this thing? <laughs> Is there a person inside of here? I tap. <laughs> They're really small. You don't want to hurt them. Here, give it to me. Yeah, you smash it. It's fucking. You go. Hello. <laughs> my finger goes through it. And you. Hello. And your finger goes through it. And you. <laughs> Great job jamming the jamming the communications, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> come up. You have to come up with a plan. 
Okay, here, put these on. And I give. You said Mrs. G. I, I, I try and what give. What they have, uh, Mrs. G? I try and give the uniforms to fucking Dakota and just he massive goddamn Vincent. <laughs> I have a. I try to. I try to put it on over my suit of armor. Okay, so you look really good. <laughs> you both get them on, but here's the thing. This is like, like a dress on on Dakota. It's massive, uh, and Dakota's not that big. Um, so it's like, it's like really, really baggy, like a small child wearing, <laughs> like, their dad's clothes. And, How um, is this gonna help us fight the guys? And Vincent, yours We're is gonna... like, ripped all around the armor <laughs> and like, and like, not coming together, it does not look right. We're gonna blend right in. <laughs> um, are you guys gonna, where are you, where are you guys gonna go? <laughs> God, I say we go strength. straight through the entrance. Finally, a good idea. All right, I'm you with you. You know what? You know what? We tried it my way. F fuck it, guys. Sasano, give me strength. Ah! You, all right, you go through the entrance, and um, you don't actually see too many guards. Walking in, you see um, it, it's it's all just this gray concrete. Uh, to the left, there are there are doors uh, going down into different rooms. Uh, you assume the only guards that were guarding this side were the ones that you knocked out. Um, <laughs> and on the other side, you can see two guards guarding the other door, but they are looking away. Um, to your right, you see a staircase going down, and to your left, you see these doors, uh, just metal doors. I want to... Um, interesting. I want to try something. Sure. I want to pull out the walkie-talkie. Uh, I want to click it, um, and I want to do my best guard voice. <clears throat> Actually, wait, no. Uh, uh, <laughs> Vincent has a really good one. Vincent, can you ask to can can you ask for um, for confirmation on on Doctor Lutz's position? That could help us figure out where where she is. I need you to do Absolutely. your best. Absolutely. You've got a really good guard voice right now. Okay, keep that up. <sighs> uh, how do I do this? Okay, I'm gonna click the button, and the little man is gonna be there. You're gonna ask the little man where Dr. Lutz is, okay? Five seconds, and I'm going in. Oh, okay, okay. go, 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 I, I click the button. Hello? Hello? Come in. Hello? Hi. Four. I'm looking for Dr. Lutz. Three. Dr. Dr. Lutz, what do you mean? Two. The doctor that we kidnapped. For, I ask for a gas. <laughs> Roll a wait, persuasion, 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 persuasion. Oh my god, that was good. Twenty three. Twenty three. Okay, okay. Yeah. Holy shit. You mean the doctor on level three? Yeah, she's down there. Why would they tell you? She's down there, all right. Why would they tell you that? Say thank you. Say thank you. <laughs> Just say thank, thank you. you so much. I bust in. All right. Which one of you thinks you're the strongest? <laughs> they Bust hear this on the radio. Where? I turn it off. You strike. Shit. Bust in where? You are in wherever a big, all the guards were. A large. He, yeah, in I the, yell in it. the walkie-talkie. No, in the room. In the room with all the guards on the, on the different places. Why am I doing this? Because I said I would. <laughs> <laughs> and if okay. I want something, so she's I on go level three. It. Yeah, she's on level three. Yeah. Okay. You open the door. I wasn't level- I haven't I been guess. level three in a long and time. Level, level three is nothing for you, huh, Vincent? <laughs> we walked through the entrance and it was full of guards, right? We didn't walk through that I way! We walked no! You went through the entrance, right? There's a staircase to your right, and there are doors going down the left side as there are several rooms there. You said we saw tons of guards. Outside! Oh, I, I said there were- Outside. Yeah! They were outside. How did Dakota. I get so lost? Because Connie said we were walking through the front entrance, and I was like, "Let's go!" And so we Dakota, did. You, I Dakota, yeah. Dakota, you look feral right now. Are you okay? Dakota, you're just break dancing in the middle of this empty room. What's Dakota, going on? I Have you considered taking a break anymore. to pray? I don't know where I am anymore. It's yeah, okay. Vincent, I think we're going up level three. Yeah, level three. That's what they said on the doesn't... funny radio thing. So these stairs go down, actually, not up. Oh, yes. Level three is in the negative level three. <laughs> is that, I mean, okay. Is there an elevator or, or signs on the stairs that tell us where we're going? Um, all you see right now is level one. Moving down, you do see level two. Okay, cool. I mean, it's so fun playing a smart character. I go down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, very very per perceptive. I want to, I want to, I want to snap and there's this flash of fire as I try and turn invisible again and walk downstairs. Okay. Going down these stairs, uh, you don't see any guards here either. 
surprisingly unguarded uh, fortress. But mm. it is on an island, so, I mean... Anyway, moving moving down these stairs, you... Hey, can I do a roll to see if this is, like, a trap or something for sure. us? Totally. Okay. Can. I'd like to investigate around, see if there's, like, any traces of, of movement here, or if it looks, like, genuinely not staffed somehow, or, like, something's wrong. Right. With a 14, you can see that, that there are no guards on this level, but, mm. but as you move forward, you can see that on the left and right of this long hallway that leads down to... Um, what seems like a split path going left and right. Um, you you see cages. It's this dark hallway with, with lights going down the uh, down up on the on the ceiling, and they're they're coming down. Some of them flickering, some of them not even on. It's eerie. You feel cold down here. The the floor is is wet in some places, and. and and you can see in the closer cages some scratch marks clawing at the concrete. Everything is gray around you, the walls, floor, ceiling. There is no color. There's gray bars. And, and as you walk in, in the smell of just rotten flesh hits your nose. And moving forward, you see to your left. Something's uh, not right here. In in a cage, a creature in, in the back, hiding in a shadow in this uh in this cell. Does it smell as bad as the jello? Yes. I kneel no, down. No, not not that bad. Not that bad. Not that bad. Not that bad. This isn't I kneel that bad. down by the cage. Oh. You kneel down? Near the cage. And I put my finger in. I'm like, "There, there, little creature. All is safe now." I think there's something more to that than just being a creature. You you see walking towards you, Vincent, is uh, what looks like a hyena with, with scales and a long tail with almost like a rattle at the end, giving off a, a, a scary growl. But, but it's only got three legs and it's kind of just hobbling towards you. It looks weak. Uh, By the gods! There's, there's, what's happened here? There's blood. <laughs> there's blood around it. Jaws. Vincent, something is is not right here. I think they've clearly kidnapped Dr. Lutz to do some sort of experiments. So Dr. Lutz is behind this, Len. The jello smelled much worse. These travesties will not go unanswered. <clears throat> and as you as you are um yelling this out with Holy your shit. loud, boisterous <laughs> voice. Holy shit. You hear you hear growling coming to the from the right from all down the hallway you're clanging gnarling creatures lunging at this at this these bars and you can see them some of them looking like just grotesque amalgamations like nothing you've ever seen before what reason and, would they have to make something like this and as you ask yourself these questions that is where we are going to end the session. Hey, little puppy! What happens if I try and pet it? Nothing, because the session's Fuck. over. It's fucking done. <laughs> next time. <laughs> well, maybe next, next time. time. I say, know. I say, I. You know what I think should happen? I think Vincent, Vincent should pull out his big bag of rats and have a Pokemon battle. That's what I think should happen. <laughs> hey, but you know what? You know what? You know what? We're gonna talk about that on just rolled just with it. And if you're, and if you're a patron. You should be able to already get that uh, easy peasy. So we're gonna talk about our all, all that juicy, <laughs> juicy stuff. If you're, I mean, Fuck yeah. if you're listening to this, you can already listen to that. It's you fucking better. So, you better. You better. You Go listen to it right now. Right now. Yo, what's up? Hopefully you guys enjoyed that episode. I just want to quickly thank our fifty dollars tier patrons, such as Wild James, Sammy Bo the Second, Kev Senpai, the Letter Seven, Finra. Mitchell Iverson, Mithril Gear 417, Jew Zombo, Grillian Fried Strider, Boss Goat, Rikord Zinn, Artemis Loves You, Derpy Tricks, Everett Stoker, Krobins, Netven, Deathclaw, Scarab5, Sandy007, Ben Manny, William Smith, P1 P P Pillow? Pillow? P1 LW Pillow? Pillow. <laughs> Apple, Princess Vegeta, 
Soul of a Pep, Loki, Cheshire, Misfit Wolverine 15, Blue Blend Blop, Elise the Washed Up Bard, Bowling Ball Iron, Zerberus, Mr. Griffin, Alyssa, Dream Strider, Obligatory References, Chalky Driss, Lord Ticklefish, Spinyaks, Humming Jay, Buttery Toast, Consumed Cheddar, Raytheon, Creepy Reaper, King of Ranch, Serene is actually a skeleton, Material Seaweed, Gillian's Biggest Fan, Russia Snivy, Tornier Comet, Jumpiest Venus 34, Your Gal Pal Valerie V, Edgy Moss, Riker Kurotu, Nong Zolotl, Salutation, JRWI Enjoyer, and Jay Newell. Thank you guys so much for supporting the podcast the way you do. We wouldn't be able to do it without you. And we will see you next week.